Good morning, it's Pastor Tim Hammy here at First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. So good to be with you this morning. Last couple of days I've been dealing with the subject of camping with Christ. Just got done this past weekend with, with OK Kids, which is Outdoor Kids with Coffee County. And it was a blast. Got to minister out there and got to do a lot of cool things out there. But I got to share, this is part of my sermon that I shared on, on uh Sunday morning out there. Talk about camping with Christ. Our key verse for this is Numbers 2, 1 and 2. It says, The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, The Israelites are to camp around the tent of meeting, some distance from it. Each man under his standard with the banners of his family. Yesterday we talked about our banner must be displayed for all to see. Don't need any undercover Christians. Don't need it. We, you know, let's be bold about who we are. Uh, it's just important. The, the the second I'm going to deal with the the fourth and the fifth and the fifth probably be a little bit longer. Fourth is everyone must be in their place. It sounds interesting. Get your place. No, actually, in the in the body of Christ, everyone has a place. Everyone has a gift. I was talking on on Sunday morning that I can't build anything. And if my father was watching right now, he'd probably say, "Amen." I am. I do not have the ability. In fact, uh, when I was in junior high in Kenosha, Wisconsin, I. I I could not cut wood straight in wood shop. Uh, I, in fact, I took two different types of wood, oak and and plywood, and made a box out of it. I failed that cl class. I failed that project, and uh, so I don't have that ability. But I love my, my some of my hobbies is computers and and sound equipment and video equipment. All that stuff is, is my hobby. I love that, but. Everyone has a place in the body of Christ. Everyone has a gift. But see, we as Christians have to choose to use that gift and, and, and being willing to use that. See, what I've heard is, well, I don't have the ability to do that. Well, how do you know unless you try? I have done children's ministry. I've done youth ministry. I have done college ministry. Uh, you know, those, you know, I like talking to people. I, but you know, put me in a in a construction situation. I'll have to stand there and watch people do it because I do not know how to do it. But I'm willing to learn. That's another thing. It, be in your place, willing to learn a, a a new gifting. Be willing to step out in in faith. Uh, may God bless you on that. Um, I'm actually not going to deal with this. I'm going to deal with it tomorrow because I, I believe this is going to take a little bit longer than than I want to take of your time. But just remember that get in a church, find your place, because God has called each one of us as we have a relationship with Him, as our banner uh, is raised high as a relationship with Him, that God has a calling upon each one of our life, God has a calling on your life, God has a calling on my life. Allow God to use you in a special and unique way. Let me pray for you. God, I just thank you so much. I thank you that we made it to Thursday. I thank you that, Lord, that you have blessed us with a great week. I pray that you just begin to pour out your spirit upon those that are watching, Lord. I pray that, Lord, that you begin to provide every uh, need that they have. I also pray, Lord, that you will just uh, give them the opportunity this week, Lord God, to share the gospel with somebody. Lord, may we sh hang our banner high, Lord God. May we find our place in the local body, Lord. Lord, bless the watchers, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have a great Thursday. God bless you.